New Hampshire. The sun is so bright, so you probably can't even see what is going on behind me, but that is all woods, just pure trees. Good morning. Yeah. Ooh, do you have the sneezes? Hi, Aria. Uh. Hi, Alexander. Uh. Are you guys reading a book? What are you reading about? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and the O, P, Q, R, S. It's all about the plane. Your daddy doesn't want to be in the vlog. What do you think about that? Huh? What do you guys think? Yeah, I know, me too. You guys want to open up your present? What do you think? Do you have egg yubbies? Oh, are you opening your present? Keep going. <laughs> Good job. What about you, Aria? You want to open up your present? Okay, what did Grandma get you? Huh? What did Grandma get you? Books! Whoa! Look at this! Whoa. Oh my goodness! So this trip is extra special because my brother, his wife, and their three-month-old twins recently moved here a couple weeks ago. So last night, Todd and I made the trip up here to check out their new apartment and all the beauty that New Hampshire has to offer in the new town that they live in. You want to say hi to the people? What's up, people? Welcome to my home. Got our coffee, We're of course. otter watching right now. Otter watching with our coffee, although I'm not going to lie, this is gas station coffee because the coffee shop isn't open yet. This is, a, this is a New York City. Open, yeah, at seven o'clock in the morning. What the heck? Must be a New York yeah, thing. yeah, it must be a New York thing. <laughs> I think that means that we should open up a coffee shop. That is one of my dreams. Got a scratch the itch. This is the perfect place to be. Yes, a nature coffee shop. things to do together especially when we're on some kind of trip adventure is to drive around in the middle of nowhere and just kind of see what we can find Ooh, fresh eggs oh we are pulling over I hate following a GPS I love just well me not driving he's always the driver when we're together <laughs> but I love just driving around not having a GPS on and just seeing what we run into and now we just passed some place that has fresh eggs. It looks like they're on some kind of farm. So we are gonna go check it out and see. And everything is obviously always better with a coffee in hand. Do you like it? Not quite. 
Okay. That's not yours anyway, don't worry. <laughs> Is that so yummy? You have milk all over your onesie? There is nothing quite like waking up to zero noise, peace and quiet. All you can hear are birds chirping. It's definitely a lot different than where I live in New York and I wake up and there's cars honking. I can hear police cars. There's people talking, people yelling. This is definitely a lot nicer. <laughs> and all of that, all there is is the woods right outside the window. So today, today we are just strolling on through the little town of Littleton. That's what it's called. stopped on the side of the road because there's a beautiful landscape and unfortunately I'm so sad because the camera is not doing it justice <laughs> we're on the side of the road on this like what I, that's a farm right a big old farm and a gorgeous the Sun is blocking you literally can't even see it but there is just a huge mountain range right behind me so pretty. Mount Washington is right there, I think, right? So beautiful. I wish you could see it. Good morning. Today we are leaving and we're heading back to New York and I'm very sad. <laughs> so it's about 6.30 in the morning. We just packed up the car and now we're gonna go say bye to the babies and my brother and my sister-in-law, of course. And then we're gonna head back to stinky New York. Bye. See ya. <laughs> um, the lighting was off, so I have to re <laughs> refilm closing the door. Jesus Christ. Um, you don't have to ring the doorbell. Just give a nice little tap. <laughs> okay, bye. See ya.